Breaking news. Tony and Jared are in New York City. More to come at five. Everybody wants to be naked and famous. What are we getting? Um, a stinky ass fruit that tastes like dog shit. Maybe. Durian. No, it's gonna be fresh and beautiful and wonderful. I'm sure the fresh ones don't taste any better though. We'll see. Durian acquired. What do you think of this investment? It's the worst eighteen dollars you ever spent, and I haven't even tried it yet. Okay. Yeah. It smells it very oniony. To me, it smells like a foot an older pineapple. Huh. Well, not, not, it's not as bad as the, the other stuff that we had to smell. Let's go get some uh, stuff or whatever the candy was. Let's go get some longins. How about that? All right. I'm cool with that. We also picked up some lychee and some rambutan. Ready to try these other fruits? Jared has the rambutan, and so do I. So now we're gonna eat it. How do you eat this? Very carefully. So you just kinda dig in there and start ripping. Like that? Yep. And inside should be basically a clear testicle. It does look like a testicle. It went from fuzzy testicle, like a full-grown man, to a prepubescent boy. Kind of is like a grape. Oh, good point. A peeled grape. A peeled grape. It's an appealing grape. Dink it and sink it. Did you just eat the whole thing like this? Uh, there's a seed, so don't eat the seed. But you can pop the whole thing. Mm. Not bad, right? It's very much like a grape. Not a ton of flavor, but decent. Overall ratings? One through ten? I think that's probably an eight. eight or Solid eight? Nine. Yeah. I don't like the seed part of this, but... It's, uh, the seed makes it kind of a pain in the ass to eat. You know, it's uh, it's sweet, no sourness, but very grape-like. Yep. Same thing as the Wait, other one. What is this? This is a lychee. Where does it hit? Uh, it's again Asia, especially Southeast, and also Japan. Okay. Uh, it's used in a lot of Japanese like sodas and other beverages as like a flavor. Okay. So it's very good. And how do you eat this? Same, Same thing. Same thing as one before. Softer. Yes. Do so you want the white skin? No. Okay. You're getting Ooh. better. There, now just suck it in. Ooh. Like that. Is there a seed or anything I gotta worry about? Yes. Okay. I really like that one. I think that's better. More flavor, more juice. More fruit. <laughs> it does taste like another fruit, but I'm blanking out. Is it just grape? No. There's a little hint of grape there. I don't like that one at all. Huh. I like it more. If the other one was an eight, what was this? Uh, seven. Six and a half. Maybe six. I think I'll go with six. What we all came here for. This was the uh, main reason for our trip, wasn't it? No. It better not be. 
we might be able to clear out this city block. Oh my god. First of all, people, it just looks disgusting. Raw chicken. Oh, get that juice. Ew. Uh, uh oh. Did we not get a good one? I don't know. Just grab a little. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> that's too much. It's like the price is right game. Like that's all I'm gonna take because I'm a pan. Nope. It's like the sweetness of curdled milk. <laughs> I yeah, really don't like that. Good. I really Okay, I don't I don't think that tastes the same as the candies that we have. It does, but this is really you this think is it real. tastes the same? Yeah. I don't think it tastes the same. You are right. Worst $18 I've spent. Uh, <laughs> durian fruit. Uh, burps. I got something called Wampei. Um, can you hold this? Careful for your finger, it's in frame. No, it's not. Oh. Almost looks like... Oh, a lot of black pe pepper taste. Big seeds. What the heck? Yeah, we're being in there. All seeds. Oh, that's sweet. Slightly citrusy. Stop number two of the day. It's going to be at Lombardi's Pizzeria. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. It is the oldest pizzeria in New York City, with a caveat. They the did caveat? they did move in 1980, so this is not their original location, but it is still run by the same family. Not quite sure, but we'll go there. We'll get some uh, real authentic za, and uh, it's a bit of a tourist trap, I guess, from what I've heard. But it's still good pizza. Is it? legitimately the oldest or just like those coffee shops that you see oh city's best coffee World's i think it's legitimately self, self is oh. prescribed. and i was just talking about these guys hey we made it here at lombardi's jared what are you gonna get pizza pizza What'd you get? This, my friends, is an original margarita with pepperonis added on top for an extra four dollars because it's expensive. And I've got myself an olive pizza. Worth it? No. No. So, uh, overall decent pizza. Not bad. But maybe charge about half the price yeah I mean yeah I prefer Papa Murphy's and that's like 10 bucks so yeah at least that yeah sorry Lombardi's here we are at stranded in New York City not the one in San Francisco like I've been to let's take a look inside 
Jared, what do you think of this street? It's a very nice street. Looks real cool. Reminds me kind of of like How I Met Your Mother. And another. Generation Records. Jared, what's the significance here? This is West 4th Street basketball courts and racquetball courts. It's one of the biggest name uh, streetball courts in uh, New York City, outside of maybe Rucker Park and a couple other ones. It's got a big name. Uh, people come here to watch all sorts of big name entertainment, play ball. And What's it known as? The Cage. So this is the Cage. It's right on my neck. You look, you got this little shit. Oh, all the bullets on my head. This is an all Coming up on Times Square. Happy New Year! From the cage to the garden. Jared, That's what does this venue mean to you? Um, basketball wise, not a whole lot because it's the Knicks and they stink. But uh, basketball wise, it's pretty dang cool. Yeah. You know, because it's the Knicks and they play here and a lot of good things happen here. How about hockey? Rangers? What, what hockey? Who? Rangers? What? Well, how it's a like, comment, and subscribe!